In this video, I will show you how to use the join items in collection action in Nintex Workflow Cloud. The action joins all items in a collection variable based on a separator chosen by you and outputs to a text string. The join items in collection action is one of many actions located in the collection operations action group in the Nintex Workflow Cloud Actions toolbox. The action has three fields to configure. The first field to configure is called collection. Clicking the field opens the Insert Variables panel. Here you can choose the collection variable that will have all items joined. In general, you will be choosing a collection variable that was created from the output of other actions, such as the Add Item to Collection action. The next field is the Delimiter. This is where you can specify the characters that you want to use to separate the items. It can be as simple as a semicolon for separating email addresses a comma for creating a CSV file or word such as the word and, so the output would be item 1 and item 2, etc. Text can be typed into this field or a variable selected from the Insert tab. The final field is called Result, and it is the output of the action. The field requires a text variable. You can select a text variable from the dropdown, or you can create a new variable by selecting the Add Variable option. As you can see, the join items in collection action is easy to configure. I will now show you how it can be used in your workflows. In this scenario, a company has a competition for their customers. The customers can enter every time they make a purchase and the entries are kept in a SharePoint online list. The entrants have opted into promotional emails and our Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow will send them. I will start off by querying the SharePoint online list to get all the entrants. The query a list action returns the number of items in the list, so I will use this in the loop n times action so it knows how many times to loop, so that all the items in the collection are processed. In the loop n times action each item is selected from the collection, one by one, and the email address is added to a collection variable called emails. I will then remove all the duplicates from the emails collection using a remove duplicates from collection action. I want to create a semicolon delimited string with all the email addresses of the entrants, so I will use a join items in collection action to do so. For the collection field, I will use the emails collection. For the delimiter, I will type in a semicolon. In the result field, I selected my text variable called email string. I will use a send an email action to send an email to the competition entrance. In the recipient email addresses field, I am using the email string variable, which contains semicolon delimited email addresses. When the workflow runs, all the competition entrants will receive an email. In this video, we looked at the join items in collection action. We found that it is useful for creating a string containing all items in a collection separated by a delimiter of our choosing. For more information about the join items in collection action and the other actions used in this video, please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files.